the 2007 Moody's Mega Math Challenge, winning scholarships of $20,000. Van Allen High School, team number 77. It's, it still hasn't sunk in yet, like that we actually got first place because I actually did it last year and we came in fifth. It's just really cool to see the on um, the teamwork and the bonding. The scholarship money is, is definitely an advantage. Uh, it's, it's not something that we, you know, per se work toward just for that. Definitely going to need that for college, especially paying $50,000 a year. In 2009, students living between Maine and Washington, D.C. are eligible to participate. You need three to five students on a team, and you need one teacher to act as the coach. The students really put a lot of time and effort in, and they did a wonderful job. They should be very proud of themselves. The challenge is unique because it's entirely web-based. So the students come to the web, 7 a.m. in the morning, they download the problem, they have 14 hours to complete their solution paper, and then they upload their solution at the end of the day. Overall, it's a really good experience working with everyone, putting your brain together. Of course, there's rough spots, you know, trying to pick which music to listen to. I'm interested in math and I think that you know, some of the problems that they've done are pretty interesting and pretty relevant. We tackle real world problems in the competition. Social security, a risk management portfolio question, a question about the environment and the wisdom of using ethanol. One of the things we've learned from students, the feedback we get is not only was it fun, but they really for the first time saw that they could really do something useful with mathematics. After the solution papers are uploaded, the papers go through two rounds of judging by panels of professional PhD level applied mathematicians. The top six teams come to New York City to the Moody's corporate headquarters and present their papers live to determine the final rank order of those top six papers. So the question becomes, are there better ways for the United States to obtain energy independence? For the past five years, the average rate of inflation has been 2.63%. You have your brilliant math kids, but not every person needs to be co-captain of the math team. You also want to have maybe a good programmer, maybe a good writer, maybe some people who are great at doing research. I think I learned that you can apply um, everything you learn to uh, lots of different situations because even for this project, uh, which wasn't really computer related, I was able to write a program to uh, simulate corn prices in the future. Once the students finish presenting, the judges deliberate, an award ceremony immediately follows where the Moody's Foundation awards $80,000 in scholarship prizes. We have seen every type of school participate in this competition. Public, private, Catholic, magnet. No school should be dissuaded from participating because they feel that they don't have the reputation or they don't have a math team. The winners of the 2008 Moody's Mega Math Challenge, High Technology High School, Lynn Prof, New Jersey. Students have told us that their experience in participating in the challenge has given them team building skills, time management skills, new leadership skills, and greater interest in pursuing careers and studies in applied mathematics. The competition was really tough and to win that is really an honor. We worked really hard on this for a long time and it just feels really good to be able to finally get you know recognition for all your work. 